Happy Campers, Student Book 5, by Gabriel Diaz Majoli and Leslie Painter Farrell, and Happy Campers, Skills Book 5, by Angela Giannis and Libby Williams, Class Audio CD. Jason, Patty, Adam and Sue, the Happy Campers, coming to you. Hello, I'm Jason. I play the keyboard. Hi, I'm Sue. Get ready for the beat. I'm Patty. I'm the lead singer. Hi, I'm Adam. We're the Happy Campers Band. I'm Larry. I'm the music teacher. The Happy Campers Song Alright, alright, Happy Campers! Are you ready? Are you ready? One, two, three! Clap your hands and move your feet Let's have fun! Dance to the beat Happy Campers everywhere Unit 1. Lesson 1. Activity 1. Listen, then echo. Vocab, vocabulary. Vocab, vocabulary. Vocab, vocabulary. Necklace. Necklace. Earrings. Earrings. Watch. Watch. Glasses. Cell phone. Cell phone. Wallet. Wallet. Money. Money. Vocab vocabulary. Vocab vocabulary. Vocab vocabulary. Larry. Unit one. Lessons one and two. Lost and found. <laughs> Lost and found, near and far Can you say whose they are? Lost and found, near and far Can you say whose they are? Whose necklace is it? Can you say? It's Charlie's, it's Charlie's, he wears it every day Whose necklace is it? Can you say? It's Charlie's, it's Charlie's, he wears it every day. Lost and found, near and far. Can you say whose they are? Lost and found, near and far. Can you say whose they are? Whose earrings are they? Can you say? They're Alan's, they're Alan's, she wears them every day. 
whose earrings are they? Can you say? They're Ellen's, they're Ellen's, she wears them every day. Lost and found, near and far. Can you say whose they are? Lost and found, near and far. Can you say whose they are? Whose watch is it? Can you say? It's Lily's, it's Lily's, she wears it every day. Whose watch is it? Can you say? It's Lily's, it's Lily's, she wears it every day. Lost and found, near and far. Can you say whose they are? Lost and found, near and far. Can you say whose they are? Whose glasses are they? Can you say? They're Daniel's, they're Daniel's, he wears them every day. Whose glasses are they? Can you say? They're Daniel's, they're Daniel's, he wears them every day. Lost and found, near and far. Can you say whose they are? Lost and found, near and far. Can you say whose they are? Unit 1, Lessons 3 and 4, The Happy Campers Jason, Patty, Adam and Sue, The Happy Campers, coming to you! Look at all this stuff! Whose harmonica is it? Is it Adam's or Sue's? It's not Sue's. I think it's his. Whose drumsticks and baseball cap are they, Sue? Hey! They're mine! Thanks, Larry! Is this Patty's violin case? Yes, it's hers. I love my violin case! Here's my keyboard. I can sing, and Sue can play the drums. And I can play guitar. Are you happy campers now? Happy campers? That's a great name for our band! Now, whose microphone and music stand are they? They're, They're yours, yours, Larry! <laughs> <laughs> Unit 1, Lesson 3 Activity 3. Dictation. Listen and write. Then say. 1. This is my music stand and keyboard. 2. Whose violin case is it? 3. The microphone and harmonica are his. 4. They're her drumsticks. Unit 1. Lesson 4. Activity 3. Listen and cheer. Happy campers, listen here. Now it's time to do a cheer. Ready? Okay. Whose is it? It's mine. Whose is it? It's yours. Whose are they? They're his. Whose are they? They're hers. Unit 1. Lessons 5 and 6. Read and listen. The Time Capsule. The fifth grade class is making a time capsule. They are putting things in a box to show people in the future what they like, what they eat, and what they do. It's a really exciting project. Now the students are digging. They're putting their time capsule in the ground. What's that? Rachel says. 
I think it's a time capsule from the past. Wow! An ancient necklace and earrings! Lucy pulls out a cell phone. A cell phone? That isn't old. Whose is it? Petra, Eric, and Andy are in the sixth grade. They are laughing. <laughs> <laughs> it's mine. Eric says, That necklace is his, and those earrings are hers. It's our time capsule from last year. Unit 2, Lesson 1, Activity 1. Listen, then echo. Vocab, vocabulary, vocab, vocabulary, vocab, vocabulary, vocabulary, car. Taxi. Taxi. Bus. Bus. Subway. Subway. Train. Train. Airplane. Airplane. Boat. Boat. Helicopter. Helicopter. Vocab, vocabulary. Vocab, vocabulary, vocab, vocabulary, Larry, 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 Larry. Unit 2. Lessons 1 and 2. On the go. Unit 2, Lessons 3 and 4, The Happy Campers. Jason, Patty, Adam and Sue, The Happy Campers, coming to you. Hi, Adam. Are you going to go to band practice? No, I'm not. I'm going to buy dog food at the pet store. Hello? Jason? Are you going to go to band practice? No, I'm not. I'm going to go to the bookstore. Hello, Sue. Are you going to go to band practice? I can't. I have an appointment at the hair salon. Are you going to go to the mall today, Patty? Yes, I am. No practice today, so I'm going to go play at the arcade. You're all here at the food court. We need to talk. There's a talent show at school. Unit 2, Lesson 3, Activity 3, Dictation. Listen and write, then say. 1. I'm not going to go to the bookstore. 
two. I'm going to go to the arcade in the mall. Three. The hair salon is next to the pet store. Four. Are you going to go to the food court? Unit two. Lesson four. Activity three. Listen and cheer. Happy campers, listen here. Now it's time to do a cheer. Ready? Okay. Are you going to go to the pet store? Are you going to go by train? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Unit 2, Lessons 5 and 6 At the Mall. Are you and your friends going to go to the mall this weekend? Many people are. Most cities in the world have big shopping malls, also called shopping centers. There is a mall in Dubai that has 1,200 stores. There is a fish tank that you can swim in with real sharks. You can even ice skate there, too. Malls are not a new invention. For example, Trajan's Market is from ancient Rome. And there is a very old mall where people can shop called the Grand Bazaar in Istanbul, Turkey. It's from the year 1461. Today, families go to malls because they can do all their shopping in one place. There are all kinds of stores in a mall. Supermarkets, hair salons, pet stores, bookstores, food courts, and even arcades for children to play. Unit 3. Lesson 1. Activity 1. Listen, then echo. Vocab, vocabulary, vocab, vocabulary, vocab, vocabulary, Larry, Larry, Larry. Basketball player. Basketball player. Astronaut. Mechanic. Mechanic. Carpenter. Carpenter. Computer programmer. Computer programmer. Writer. Writer. Scientist. Scientist. Photographer. Photographer. Vocab vocabulary. Vocab vocabulary. Vocabulary. Unit 3. Lessons 1 and 2. Can you guess? Think about the future. To write great stories, wait and see. Can you guess what I'm going to be? I'm going to be a writer. I'm going to be a writer. Think about the future. What are you going to be? Hey now, hey now, listen to me. To take great pictures, wait and see. Can you guess what I'm going to be? I'm going to be a photographer. I'm going to be a photographer. Think about the future. What are you going to be? Hey now, hey now, listen to me. I'm going to build great houses, wait and see Can you guess what I'm going to be? I'm going to be a carpenter I'm going to be a carpenter Rocket 
let's wait and see Can you guess what I'm going to be? I'm going to be an astronaut I'm going to be an astronaut Unit 3 Lessons 3 and 4 the Happy Campers. Jason, Patty, Adam and Sue, the Happy Campers, coming to you. An important agent is coming today. He wants the band to play in a concert. What's he going to do? Is he going to sell tickets? He's going to make a video. A video? I need to buy new costumes. Is he going to teach us a dance? Yes, he is. No, he isn't. He's an agent. Does he drive a big car? Maybe that's him. Wow! Hi, I'm going to be your agent. What? He's the important agent? Jason, it's Don, your little brother. <laughs> <laughs> Unit 3, Lesson 3, Activity 3, Dictation. Listen and write. Then say. 1. Teach me a dance and make a video. 2. Is he going to sell tickets? 3. Buy new costumes for the concert. 4. Does she drive a big car? Unit 3. Lesson 4. Activity 3. Listen and cheer. Happy campers, listen here. Now it's time to do a cheer. Ready? Okay. Is he going to buy costumes? Yes, he is. Is she going to sell tickets? Unit 3, Lessons 5 and 6, Festival Time. Briar's Blog by Mark Briar, Perryville Festival. I'm going to tell you about a celebration in my town. It's the Perryville Festival, and it's a two-day party. We sing and dance in the streets, play instruments, and wear beautiful costumes. My mom is going to plan our show. She's going to teach us a dance to perform in the streets. I'm not going to make my costume. My mom is going to buy new colorful costumes for us. My dad is going to make a video of the parade. I'm going to listen to my favorite singer play in a concert. It's going to be fun. I'm going to eat delicious food and play some games too. Come to Perryville and have fun with us. Unit 4. Lesson 1. Activity 1. Listen, then echo. Vocab, vocabulary. Vocab, vocabulary. Vocab, vocabulary. Museum. Museum. Tour guide. Tour guide. Dinosaur. Elevator Elevator Gift shop Gift shop Exhibit Exhibit Cafeteria Cafeteria Aquarium Aquarium Vocab vocabulary Vocab vocabulary 
Vocabulary. Unit four, lessons one and two, field trip. Unit four, lessons three and four, the happy campers. Jason, Patty, Adam, and Sue, the happy campers, coming to you. We need to practice a lot next week, or we aren't going to win the talent show. We're going to win. I know it. Yes. And we're going to be famous next year. We're going to travel the world and stay in hotels. That's going to be fun. We're going to play in concerts and have lots of fans. We're going to go to big parties with lots of food and music. I love parties. And we aren't going to have any more tests at school. Oh, Jason, it's fun to dream, but we have a math test tomorrow. Let's study. Unit four, lesson three, activity three, dictation. Listen. And write. Then say. One. We're going to stay at a hotel tomorrow. Two. We're going to be famous next year. Three. We're going to travel the world. Four. We have a test next week. Unit four. Lesson four, activity three. Listen and cheer. Happy campers, listen here. Now it's time to do a cheer. Ready? Okay. We're going to go to a party. We aren't going to have a test. No, we aren't. Unit four, lessons five and six: a trip to Washington D.C. Marty and Luke have plans. Tomorrow, they're going to travel to Washington D.C. by train. 
They aren't going to stay at a hotel. They're going to stay with their aunt and uncle. They're going to visit a natural history museum. Luke and his uncle want to see the dinosaur and rock exhibits. Luke wants to buy a poster of a dinosaur in the museum gift shop. He loves dinosaurs. Next week, Marty and Luke are going to go to a park with their cousins. There's going to be a concert. Uncle Dave and his friends are in the band. Marty and Luke are going to visit the White House. They're going to listen to a special tour guide. It's their Aunt Fran. She is a tour guide there, and she knows all about the American presidents and the history of the White House. It's going to be a fun week. Unit 5, Lesson 1, Activity 1. Listen, then echo. Vocab, vocabulary, vocab, vocabulary, vocab, vocabulary, very, 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 cute, cute, ugly, ugly, big, big, small, small, fat, fat, thin. Strong, strong, weak, weak. Vocab, vocabulary, vocab, vocabulary, vocab, vocabulary, Larry, Larry, Larry. Unit five, lessons one and two, different animals. Unit five, lessons three and four, the happy campers. Jason, Patty, Adam and Sue, the happy campers, coming to you. Okay, everyone. Today you're going to wear animal costumes to practice. I'm going to be a tiger. Tigers are fast. Or maybe a cheetah. Are tigers faster than cheetahs, Adam? I think they're slower. I'm going to be a noisy animal. How about a giraffe or a monkey? A monkey is noisier than a giraffe, Patty. <laughs> Giraffes are quiet. I like sharks, but they're mean. What animal is friendlier than a shark? 
A dolphin is friendlier than a shark. Wait, you're all going to be birds. Here are your costumes. <laughs> Unit five, lesson three, activity three, dictation. Listen and write. Then say. One. Dogs are noisier and friendlier than cats. Two. Giraffes are quiet and fast. Three. Tigers are slower than cheetahs. Four. Sharks are meaner than dolphins. Unit five, lesson four, activity three. Listen and cheer. Happy campers, listen here. Now it's time to do a cheer. Ready? Okay. Is a snake faster than a caterpillar? Is a tiger cuter than a cat? What's noisier than a parrot? Unit 5, Lessons 5 and 6, Strange Fish Many strange and wonderful creatures live deep in the ocean. They are all different. Viperfish are very ugly, and they have teeth that are bigger than their mouths. They can't even close their mouths. They are smaller than other fish. The anglerfish is fatter than the viperfish. It is very ugly, too. It is dark gray or dark brown. It has a huge head, so it can eat other fish that are bigger than it is. The fangtooth fish has longer teeth than other fish. It looks like a monster, but it is really quite a small fish. Gulper eels have smaller teeth than the other fish, but their mouths are very big. They eat with their big mouths. Their tails are longer than other fish. They have small lights at the ends of their tails. Unit 6, Lesson 1, Activity 1. Listen, then echo. Vocab, vocabulary, vocab, vocabulary. Vocab, vocabulary, blurry, 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 Dangerous. Dangerous. Unusual. Unusual. Beautiful. Beautiful. Intelligent. Intelligent. Powerful. Powerful. Colorful. Colorful. Talented. Interesting. Interesting. Vocab, vocabulary, vocab, vocabulary, vocab, vocabulary, Larry, Larry, Larry. Unit 6, Lessons 1 and 2. The Rocket Rock. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1.
Unit Six, Lessons Three and Four, The Happy Campers. Jason, Patty, Adam, and Sue, the Happy Campers, coming to you. Oh no, we aren't as good as the other performers. Yes, we are, Jason. We're better. Our songs are amazing. Wow, the ballerina is beautiful. I think the tap dancer is as talented as the ballerina. The violinist is great. His music isn't as good as ours. No, it isn't. I like the jugglers. Cool! Look at those acrobats. I like the comedian. Come on, we're next. Good luck, everyone. We're going to be the best. Unit six, lesson three, activity three, dictation. Listen and write. Then say. One, the ballerina is beautiful. Two, I like the juggler and the comedian. Three, look at those acrobats and tap dancers. Four, the violinist is great. Unit six, lesson four, activity three. Listen and cheer. Happy campers, listen here. Now it's time to do a cheer. Ready? Okay. The comedian is as good as the juggler. The acrobat is as interesting as him. Everyone likes the ballerina. Unit Six, Lessons Five and Six: The Lion and the Mouse. A beautiful lion is sleeping in the jungle. A friendly little mouse runs all over the lion's face. The lion opens his eyes and is very mad. Please don't hurt me, the mouse says. I'm not as powerful as you. But I can help you one day. The lion laughs and says, "Ha ha! You help me? Go away, little mouse." Thank you, the mouse says, and he runs away. The next week, the lion has a problem. Mouse, the lion says. I'm not as intelligent as you. I need your help. The mouse runs to help the lion. He uses his teeth to help the lion escape. He is very talented. Finally, the lion is free. Thank you, mouse. He says. The intelligent mouse answers. Little friends can do big things. Unit Seven, Lesson One, Activity One. Listen, then echo. Vocab, vocabulary, vocab, vocabulary, vocab, vocabulary, vocabulary. Bus stop. Bus stop. Playground. Playground. Skating rink. Gym. Gym. Airport. Airport. Amusement park. Amusement park. Post office. Post office. Train station. Train station. Vocab vocabulary. 
Unit 7. Lessons 1 and 2. Where were you? Unit 7. Lessons 3 and 4. The Happy Campers. Jason, Patty, Adam and Sue, the Happy Campers, coming to you. Where was Patty last night? I don't know. She missed band practice. What about last weekend, Sue? Last Saturday, we played at her house. We practiced on Sunday, but she wasn't there. We need to practice together more. Yes, I talked to the jugglers at the talent show. They practice every day. Patty, I called you yesterday. Where were you? My grandparents visited me for a week, but I'm back now. Let's practice. Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! Yeah! 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 Unit 7, Lesson 3, Activity 3, Dictation. Listen and write, then say. 1. Where was she last night? 2. They won the talent show last year. 3. I called you yesterday. 4. My grandparents visited me last month. Unit 7. Lesson 4. Activity 3. Listen and cheer. Happy campers, listen here. Now it's time to do a cheer! Ready? Okay! She missed band practice. Where was she? Unit 7, Lessons 5 and 6 The Queen's Necklace The Queen's Necklace is very old and beautiful. It's at the National Museum. On the morning of November 10th, the necklace wasn't in its case at the museum. Where was it? The police have some ideas. Where were you last night, Shorty? 
Officer George asked. I was at the gym at 8 p.m. last night. I was there with my friends, Jack, Ray, and Pete. I wasn't near the museum. Where were you at around 8 p.m. last night, Meanie? Officer George asked. I was alone at the mall shopping for my mom's birthday, Meanie said. When is your mom's birthday? Officer George asked. July 28th, Meanie answered. Bertie was at the train station at 7 p.m. last night. His aunt visited him. Bertie and his aunt were at a restaurant at 8 p.m. Then they were at Bertie's house. Officer George has a lot of information now. He knows who was at the museum on November 9th. Who do you think has the Queen's necklace? Unit 8, Lesson 1, Activity 1. Listen, then echo. Vocab, vocabulary, vocab, vocabulary, vocab, vocabulary, Larry, Larry. Excited. Excited. Bored. Bored. Angry. Angry. Surprised. Surprised. Sad. Sad. Tired. Tired. Confused. Confused. Scared. Vocab vocabulary, vocab vocabulary, vocab vocabulary, Larry, Larry, Larry. Unit 8, Lessons 1 and 2, The Feelings Song. Unit 8, Lessons 3 and 4, The Happy Campers. Jason, Patty, Adam and Sue, The Happy Campers, coming to you. How was the talent show? Who won? It was really good, Larry. The ballerina danced. She was so beautiful. The acrobats wore great costumes. And they made them. The singer sang a really cool song. Yes, he had a great voice. Well, tell me about your show. <laughs> we were good. They gave us a small prize. And then we went home. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding, Larry. We won. Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! Yeah! 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 Now I'm a happy camper, too. Unit 8, Lesson 3, Activity 3, Dictation. Listen and write, then say. One, they made the costumes we wore. Two, 
We sang a song and won the show. Three. They gave us a prize. Four. We went home and had a party. Unit eight, lesson four, activity three. Listen and cheer. Happy campers, listen here. Now it's time to do a cheer. Ready? Okay. We won the game yesterday. We sang a song yesterday. Hooray! Hooray! We had fun yesterday. Hooray! Hooray! Unit Eight, Lessons Five and Six: A Long Life in Hollywood. Ron Howard is a movie director. Apollo Thirteen. Cocoon, Splash, and A Beautiful Mind are some of his movies. Many of his movies are famous all over the world. But Ron Howard wasn't always a movie director. When he was a child, Ron Howard was an actor. He was in movies and he was on TV. He was an actor on two very popular TV shows. He was in his first important movie when he was five. When he was eight, he was in a movie called The Music Man. He sang, danced, and wore lots of funny costumes. The movie was very popular, and so was Ron Howard. Ron Howard won many prizes for his movies and for his work in television. Hollywood gave him a star on the famous Walk of Fame for his many years of work.